Hey there, welcome back. It's Louisa Tanner Munson from Feel Good Astrology. And here's another little um, Venus episode. This one really is quite little. Um, this is something I think is quite useful if you're looking at your chart in terms of Venus and how strong your Venus is. Um, and also the charts of somebody else that might be um, really dear to you in your life. So we have these things in astrology and I've copied this. A thank you, the tarot lady dot com for this really good little planetary dignities um, kind of table. So you'll see here down the um, left hand side, we've got sun, moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, blah, 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 all the way through the planets of the Zodiac. And then we've already spoken about the rulers of Venus. So I've said there, you know, that Venus is the ruler of the sign Taurus and Libra. But I didn't really talk about the other planetary dignities. Now, so rulers, um, you know, when Venus is in the position of the ruler, um, it's seen as being or she is seen as being very, very strong. Um, and then we've also got the detriment, which is absolutely in opposition to um, Libra. And it's and also Taurus. So like Scorpio is the opposite of Taurus, Libra and Aries are opposites. But the opposing, like where Venus is in an opposite sign to the rulers, then it's been, it's seen as being in the detriment. Then there's a position called exalted where she's extremely lucky. And then you've got the opposing position to exalted, which is known as the fool. So just to like show this <laughs> in a different way, so Venus is the ruler of Taurus and Libra. So here's Taurus. You'll also notice it's traditionally associated with the second house. Um, and here's Libra. And you'll see the little icon for Venus here and Venus there. And Libra is traditionally the, the seventh house. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely associated with the seventh house. In opposition to um, Scorpio and Aries. So... Taurus is in opposition to Scorpio and the eighth house and um, Libra is in opposition to Aries. Um, so Aries is in the first house and you'll see those are ruled. Both of them are ruled by Mars. And then in the exalted um, category, Venus is exalted in the sign of Pisces and she's in the fall in the sign of Virgo. Um, and that's the same for all of the different planets. You'll see that there's a ruler the detriment is always in opposition to the ruler and they've got an exalted position. And then the opposition of that is known as the fall, extremely unlucky. Um, so um, as you can see, these are all the rulers. Um, we've got the exalted. So there are two good ones we're looking at and detriment and fall are the ones that aren't so lucky. Um, so these are the you know, the, um, the signs are associated with an elevated or supported or empowered Venus where all of her qualities are shown in a really good light. They're sort of <laughs> showcased, I guess. Um, and in the sign of Scorpio and Aries, it's less uh, beneficial. You know, Venus doesn't come off um, in her best light, I guess, when she is in the sign of Scorpio or Aries. Likewise, Venus doesn't really... Um, respond well to the Virgo and energy. So obviously in the last episode of this series, I was looking at Venus through all the different signs. And I didn't mention that some signs are seen as slightly stronger than others. Now that's not to say that if you've got Venus in Virgo, that your Venus is unlucky, not at all, because you might also have some really good um, aspects to your Venus, like she might have um, love you know, really nice trine to Mars and something beautiful to the moon and something great to the sun, etc. And you might have exalted or supported, you know, like Venus might be in the sign of the, her ruler um, and they might have awful squares. So there are swings and roundabouts to this, but it's worth looking at in terms of, you know, your chart and the chart of the people in your life. Um, and just to sort of like recap that, um, naturally Venus is quite beneficial in the second house which is um, also to do with our money and our resources and flow and she's also got sort of dominion over the seventh house which is about partnerships and she's also very beneficial in the twelfth house so if your Venus is um, showing up in your second house your seventh 
or your 12th, she has a natural resonance. She is quite powerful in those signs. And likewise, if your Venus shows up in the first, the sixth, or the eighth, she's not considered that strong. So I just wanted to run through those, um, you know, to, to sort of share, um, you know, how they might um, play out and how you might be able to get even more information about your Venus sign. Um, in the next session, we are going to be looking at charts, um, the charts that we can use to assess compatibility. So hopefully that will also be a very useful little um, section in terms of assessing romance in your chart. So there you go. I hope that was helpful and hope to see you in the next session. Bye for now.